The third generation version of Bentley's Flying Spur blends old school craftsmanship with the latest technology in the super luxury saloon sector. Beneath the chrome trim, the leather and the wood veneers, there's cutting edge tech at work producing breathtaking results and creating in this boardroom segment limousine the world's fastest four door. It's hard not to be impressed. Bentley's worked hard to make this flying spur more of its own car in this third generation form. It's the brand's first vehicle to feature four wheel steering for instance. This model still though owes most of its engineering to its Continental GT Coupe showroom stablemate which in turn borrows its MSB platform, 8 speed twin clutch auto transmission and rear suspension from a Porsche Panamera. The key change over the previous generation lies with the integration of a more reactive all wheel drive system. As before there's air suspension, now a three chamber system that works in conjunction with the clever 48 volt electromechanical anti-roll bars first seen on the Bentayga. Suspension feel is one of the things that you can influence via three provided modes, Sport, Comfort and Bentley, the latter being the engineer's favourite. Steering feel and throttle response also get tweaked with the settings. Engine-wise, most flying spare buyers choose the 6.0-litre twin-turbo 12-cylinder W12 engine that we're trying here. Bentley has developed other petrol power plants for this car. You can ask your dealer about a Porsche-derived 4.0-litre V8 and a plug-in hybrid that makes a 3.0-litre V6 with an electric motor. But it's the W12 that most customers tend to want. Here it puts out 635 PS and 900 Newton meters of torque, enough to ensure that if the dedicated sport launch setting has been engaged, the 60 mile an hour sprint can be dispatched in just 3.6 seconds on the way to a maximum that's theoretically pegged at 207 miles an hour. Cylinder deactivation technology allows such storming performance to be delivered with a modicum of efficiency should you be driving the car with less aggression and theoretically a WLTP CO2 return of 337 grams per kilometre and a combined WLTP cycle fuel figure of 19.1 miles to the gallon are both supposed to be possible. Most will agree this third generation Flying Spur to be a more handsome design than its predecessors with sweeping lines and a sense of added visual purpose this time round. Inspiration for the exterior design was apparently drawn from fuselage surfacing in aviation. This car is big, of course it is, though the 5.3 metre length is still a little shorter than its two closest segment rivals, the Rolls-Royce Ghost and the Mercedes Maybach S650. It sits a little lower than that pair too, and the short front overhangs give a sportier look. Inside, as you might expect, the front of the cabin is lifted directly from the Continental GT, which means that the dashboard is sculpted by long flowing wings and can feature the clever Bentley rotating display. When you first get in, there appears to be no screen on the dashboard. Press the screen button on the fascia though and the veneer in the middle of the dash rotates to reveal either a bank of analog dials or a huge 12.3 inch infotainment touchscreen. The instrument binnacle dial pack is a configurable all TFT display too, though it's annoying that you can't get the navigation map to display right across the whole screen. It's certainly as good to drive as the Continental GT with superb four-wheel steer enhanced agility, you wouldn't believe that this car's prodigious size and substantial curve weight. There's an appealing mix of old school and cutting edge technology on offer here, and though this is a more ostentatious and extrovert model than before, the market for these vehicles increasingly demands just such a personality, and we predict we'll like this car very much indeed. <laughs>